I guess she, I guess Billy had like a premiere, like, movie, uh, I think on Apple TV. And I actually haven't watched it yet, but I guess she was talking about how she's had like a secret boyfriend for, uh, like, maybe a few weeks, few months. Which, like, that just gives you, look at me weird and I'll stab you. She might stab you and make a song about it. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Yeah, sure. sure. You want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednil Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kednil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine, Ked Mil Foli, Gled of Dawn Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so-called one speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. Ooh. Migration? Later, Geralt. Migration of humans into this world. The elves were first, and then the humans came. Basically took everything. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Yeah, Yen. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The yes. Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. That's no pressure at all. Geralt, you're responsible for the world ending, possibly. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boor, despite my asking you not to. Yeah, no. Don't really see why I should apologize. I know sorceresses expect me to bow down before them. So you refuse to bow and thumb your nose at them instead? Very mature. Oh, oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Well, what was I supposed to say? No matter what, it would have, like, come out bad. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. Yeah. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you. That's it. I don't know what you want to do with them. You haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. We 
Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Yeah, okay, we'll ask. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion. I know your opinion. But I'm Everyone knows Yen's opinion. Permission. She's I'm very good at that. Happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Yes! Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Oh, is Come this on, it? Robert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Did we actually do something right in her eyes? Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside. Without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Yes, let's do it! Or three. I'll hold you to that. I think she actually gets really upset if you don't go with her. I like how girls just standing in his tidy whities. But Sexy time with Yen. Well, well, lovebirds decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves. You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You all right drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. Ugh. Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Oh, okay. So we have to do these dialogue options before we can what end it. What have you been it. up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exiting. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? 
Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. What's the point of catching up then? It wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Could have spared the troll. <laughs> to eat roots and sleep in roadside ditches? I needed the coin. And not a soul mourned that troll's passing. Let's raise a mug to his memory. The least we can do. Yeah, spare the troll. Wanted to show interest to hook them. But we're catching up. Can't just be like, oh, just get to the point of your story. Esco, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. The specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables. To lure the I vampire I want out of a masquerade ball. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell I you. I want a masquerade like the Venetian the carnival. I did that night. With music and uh I want it to look like that scene from Van Helsing. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. If you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Oh, blech. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. Yeah, so the trial of grasses. I would like to point out two things. One, the first part of the trial of grasses means you break down the existing body, which is already there, and then you rebuild it to make a witcher. The second, if anyone at any point refers to Triss as the 14th one, or the four, yeah, the 14th one, um, Triss was at Sun Hill, and there were 14 mages that were counted dead, and Triss was the 14th one. Uh, obviously she did not die, 
But she was meant to. Which is why she could be called that in this game. Fun fact. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great. But we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Yeah, I don't... Didn't listen, did he? I don't yeah, know... I don't think Yennefer was counted as dead. About? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gold. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Yeah! Straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Okay. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Yeah, we'll do the bet amount. Yeah. Unless you'd rather play strip quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Well, who am I playing? I'm guessing Lambert. I want to play Eskel. I have so many spies. You think Yennefer will want to play Gwent? I don't think she'll want to. You know, otherwise I totally would. I think... Kira Metz would play Gwent, and I think Triss would. Philippa can't. Which is sad. Yeah, I don't know. Yennefer doesn't really have friends. <laughs> she has the Lodge. Which even the first meeting of the Lodge, she was forced to go. Yeah, Yennefer is good at bossing people around when it comes to tasks. Not so much as uh, having friends to play with. <laughs> Do 
you think Yennefer really doesn't like the fact she doesn't have many friends? I mean, can you prove me wrong? I cannot prove you wrong, and that's the sad thing. I think deep down, you just want some friends. But she's already been through so much that it's probably... She's probably just scared. Okay, well, let's just keep going with this. Let's see what we get. A stunning victory. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just poor. Oh, Lambert's just a big baby. Come on, let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game, student from Oxen. There's this game uh, that someone, someone taught me. I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Oh my so God. Ne okay, do not I've play. Never, never have I ever so with your cousins. It's so awkward. Eskel. How about that? Eskel, Eskel. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Oh my, my god. Nature. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. I like My how they call him Papa Vesemir, or Uncle Vesemir. I've never. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Yeah, right. Lambert slept with Triss. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Colder and up an ice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way, I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good. Oh, that is hat is everything. Skin. Yes, work Where it. Did you get that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, 
Wooing the damsels. Wooing the damsels. We need to bring that saying back. It is toil. It is labor. No Yeah, I don't like his arm things. They're like little shelves. Not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper and a bodyguard. So, watch this about a Samavilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing mat. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah. As soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Oh. Fine. That train? Leave pretty boy alone. Train. He already has that pouty look on his face. He can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Oh, Amber, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, yo. Damn, broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? Now, we ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue. Oh, I love you, brother. Oh, I love drunk witchers. So I think that's where I'm going to end it for today. But as soon as we start uh, Thursday, uh, we're going to get some real progress, I feel. Um, but thank you, everyone who joined me for my stream. It was lovely talking to y'all. Um, I will see you guys Thursday, and we will... Do I need to sleep now? Well, thank you so much, Langers, for- I keep wanting to say laggers, but Langers. Langers, okay. But thank you so much for joining my stream, and I will be back at it again Thursday at 3 p.m. California time. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, night, afternoon, and I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.